I'm so glad that you're going to go see Dad tonight. <sighs> I know you guys will be able to work through things. And we'll be a family again. I hope we will. Well, there's nothing stopping you. I mean, Ivy Cream means nothing to Dad. It's you he loves. Only you. <laughs> you know, I have made so many mistakes these last couple of days. Things that I deeply regret. I never should have told your dad to go spend time with Ivy and resolve his feelings for her. I should have believed him when he told me that he loved me, not Ivy. <laughs> Mom, just tell him that. Dad'll understand. Yes. Your father has a very forgiving and kind heart. <laughs> I cannot wait to see his expression when I walk into the bunkhouse at the station. No, he'll be so shocked. He's gonna, he'll think he's dreaming. Yeah. Grace's name won't be on your lips for long, Sam. I'm going to make you forget all about her. I'm going to pleasure you in ways that Grace never dreamed of. Just like I used to. I hated it that you had to go so long without an engagement ring. But I, I made a deal with a local jeweler. My services as an attorney in exchange for this. And I was, I was going to give it to you at Sheridan and Luis's engagement party, but everything got so weird you know, with the fog and then, no, oh, Sheridan supposedly seeing Luis in bed with another woman. It just it doesn't make any sense. I mean, Luis would never cheat on Sheridan. He, he isn't like that. I know. And... Look, I'm sorry that I instantly thought the worst about Luis. It's just that I'm, I'm still very protective of Sheridan. I mean, although we may not be nephew and aunt anymore, I still love her and I always will. I understand. And this isn't the first time that she swore Luis had betrayed her. Right. That night at the wharf when she heard him on the phone saying that he was just using her to get to the cranes. She was as adamant about that as she was about seeing him cheat on her. But then when the four of us went over to the old lady's house and talked to her, well, it, it was like it was some sort of mix-up. Yeah. You know, maybe it was the fog affecting her the same way it affected me. You know, I was suspicious of you. That has to be it. You know, I, I still can't believe that. I even thought for a second... That you knew I was Sam Bennett's son and didn't tell me. <laughs> no, I'm gonna think of it. Sheridan, that's all you are. You're a stupid, gullible fool. No more. Not when it comes to you. I never want to see your filthy, disgusting face ever again. Mm. Two Luises. Not for long. What's the real? 
of Luis doing here? He was supposed to be a stakeout. Forget why he's here. What matters is that her whole plan is ruined. Look, Sheridan was supposed to see the fake Luis hit Dee Dee, and she was going to be so disgusted that she would never want to see Luis again. Now, our last best chance to split them up is a bust. Forget about our plan being a bust. If Luis finds us here, he'll tear us apart for setting him up. Well, I'm not worried. The real Luis would never hit a lady. Yes, <laughs> he He sounds angry enough to murder both of us instead. Just saying that? No. No. <laughs> Dad definitely thinks so too. <sighs> oh, I can't wait for you guys to get back together. I can't wait either. Then why are you just standing here? Go on, get move on. Go. go okay, go. I'm I'm going. I'm I'm going. What now? I'm nervous. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm going out on a first date with your dad all over again. Oh, but look what a wonderful life your first date with dad led to. Now, I'm sure tonight is just going to be the start of years and years of your guys' happiness together. <laughs> if you get to the station house to see Dad. <laughs> Settle. I'm really leaving now. Okay, well, tell Dad that I love him and tell him that I can't wait for you guys to get back together. I will. Jessica, thank you so much for giving me the boost I needed to do this. Are you kidding? I'm going to carry you to the station house. That means you and Dad are going to get back together. Okay, well, you just get some rest, okay? See you in the morning. Does that mean you and Dad are going to be sleeping in? You just make sure you get up in time to serve breakfast at the B&B and get the shop open, all right? Relax, Mom. I have everything under control. Now go. (laughs) The sooner you get to the station house, the sooner you can batch things up with Dad. Okay. You know, he's going to be so surprised to see me. I just know it. I know. Have fun. Grace. Grace. I love you so much. I love you too, Sam. I always have. And I'm about to remind you just how much... You know, it it still bothers me that I immediately thought the worst about Luis. And I should know by now that your family is completely honest and trustworthy to a fault. I mean, the very idea that Luis would disrespect Sheridan that way? And after saving her life several times, risking his own, not to mention all the flack that he's taken from the Cranes and myself, it's crazy. Luis would never keep a secret from Sheridan any more than you would keep one from me. You know, they're, they're going to work this out. Their love is too strong not to. <laughs> and, you know, once they get to the bottom of what really happened, they're going to get married without losing a beat. I hope you're right. I mean, the fortune cookie said that there would be a double wedding. And, and if Luis and Sheridan don't work things out, if, if they don't get married, I, what happens to us? Teresa, I know you are superstitious. But I love you, and I am going to marry you, whether Luis and Sheridan get married or not. ¿Qué pasó? Why is Luis and Sheridan's wedding in doubt? Oh, 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 try not to worry. I I am sure that Luis and Sheridan will work things out. I mean, there's no way that Sheridan could have seen what she thought she saw. Mija, what are you talking about? What does Sheridan think she saw? 
Luis making love to another woman. I did see Luis making love to another woman, only it wasn't Luis. No, it was my double here. All right, I want some answers, and I want them now. How did you get my face? Why are you doing this? What are you after? No comment. What the hell kind of people are you? Why would you do this? Why would you hurt Sheridan? Hurt me? My reputation? Well, I like to do in harmony, you know? Pass the time. Yeah. Wait, that's right. Well, this has been going on for over a year now. Sheridan heard you down at the wharf. You were impersonating me on the phone. You said you were just using her. Using her to get to her family. Hey, man, I don't know what you're talking about. The hell you don't! Sheridan saw you on the wharf that night. The same as she saw you in bed with her. The thing is... The thing is, you were in charge of this. No, there's no way. See, this whole setup, this was way too complicated. There's no way that you had the money or the backup. There's no way that you could have set this up all by yourself. Like I said, no comment. What about motive? What reason could you possibly have for wrecking our lives or ruining our happiness? You don't even know us. No, you see. It wasn't you. It wasn't you at all. I know who it is. No. We both do. You came close to costing me the most important thing in my life. Sheridan. You see, I love her more than I love my life. For that, you're gonna pay. I'm gonna make you pay. Oh, Luis is out for blood. I bleed so easily. Oh. Luis, wait! Don't do something you'll regret. Don't worry. I'm completely under control. It's just something I need to do. Now watch me disappear. like Mission Impossible, only this is real. Would you look at this? Look at this thing, it must cost a fortune. This is only a small detail in an incredibly elaborate scheme that Julian and Alistair cooked up. Sure, I'm gonna prove that Julian and Alistair did this to come between us. What I do, I'm gonna make him pay. This guy's my witness, I'm gonna make him pay. I love you so much, Sam. And I know you love me. Grace. No, Sam. It's not Grace. It's me. Ivy. Ivy, what the hell? Heaven was more like it. Why did you stop? I thought you were Grace. Oh, really, Sam? As if Grace would ever kiss you with that much passion. You are unbelievable. So were you, Sam. Your kisses were as unbelievable as they were all those years ago when we used to make love on the beach. I thought I was kissing Grace. No, Sam. Deep down in your soul, you knew you were kissing me. You felt the same connection we had all those years ago. Ivy, what we had is in the past. This is the present. I am with Grace now, not you. You know, you keep saying that as if saying it is going to make it so. Get out of here. Get the hell out of here before I throw you out of here. Oh, what was me he saw with her. Still, 
I'm sorry for ever doubting you, for even thinking that you could do such a thing. Ah, oh, come on, don't blame yourself. I mean, between this and that scum imitating my voice, how could you not believe what your eyes and ears were telling you? I didn't believe it. I knew in my heart that you loved me. At the core of my being, I knew that it couldn't have been you. I'm just glad you trusted me enough to set this trap. Ah! Ah! Why, that sneak! Your own sister plotting and scheming behind our backs. You just can't trust anyone these days. So why'd you wait so long to come in? Just wanted to make sure I gave those creeps enough rope to hang themselves. Bloody hell! We thought we were setting Luis and Sheridan up and they were setting us up. Damn that cop. He knew we'd do something to erase any doubt that Sheridan had about what she'd seen here. He led us into a trap. What do we do now? We have to find a way to get out of here and then flee the country before Luis catches us. If we don't, he finds out we're behind this charade. We'll spend the rest of our lives in traction. Our bodies beaten and broken like two living pinatas. All right, you two. I want the whole story. Start to finish. Then I'm going to decide whether I let you live or die. Are you there yet? <laughs> no, Jess, I'm taking my time. Why? Well, I'm just thinking about what I want to say to your father when I see him at the station house. Just tell him that you love him and the rest will work itself out. Mm, thanks, sweetie. So I, why don't you go to bed and get some sleep now, okay? I'll say a prayer for you and Dad. You do that. Bye. Bye, Mom. Oh, I hope Sam will be happy to see me after the way I acted at Ivy's. I mean it, Ivy. Leave. Stay the hell out of my life. My future is with Grace, not you. But the way you just kissed me. For the last time, I thought you were Grace. Well, I don't believe you. Oh my God, Ivy. What happened to you? Pursuing me like this? Humiliating yourself? How did you get to where making a fool of yourself doesn't phase you in the least? Do you want to know how I got here, Sam? I'll tell you how I got here. Twenty years in a loveless marriage. A marriage that never would have happened if my father hadn't sabotaged our relationship to help Alistair find a, a bride for his idiot son. I am tired of living without love, Sam. Your love. I want us to have what we used to. No, Ivy, we can't. It's over. Done forever. No. No, I, look, I don't love you anymore, damn it. God. And even after all the pain your lies have caused me, Grace and Ethan, I don't want to embarrass or humiliate you more than you've embarrassed and humiliated yourself. But I swear, if you don't leave here right now, I will throw you out on your naked behind. Oh, I don't think you want to do that, Sam. Oh, you give me one good reason why I shouldn't. Grace. What about her? Well, hmm, I wonder what Grace is going to think about the scandal that you would cause by throwing me out on my naked behind. What is she going to think about finding me in your bed late at night, naked? Are you trying to blackmail me? No. No, I'm just wondering. Who's going to be hurt more by your throwing me out? Naked. Grace. Or me. So, a mysterious woman calls Luis on his cell phone, right? And then Sheridan sees Luis talking to 
A woman she's never seen before. My son denies it, only to have Sheridan claim that she saw them in bed together not long after that. I'm sorry, but this did not happen. This is some sort of setup. A complicated plot to try to drive them apart. Mama, I, I agree. But who would do something so mean to two people so happy and in love? Hmm. Por favor, Teresita, who do you think? Only Julian and Alistair are capable of such a diabolical plan. But, Mama, they were the ones who threw Sharon and Luis's engagement party. And Alistair even came over the, the Crane Mansion speaker system to welcome Luis into the family. Oh, of course, Teresita. Alistair can't wait to have a son-in-law who thinks that he and Julian are responsible for your father's disappearance and has vowed to move heaven and earth to prove it. I'm sorry, Ethan. I know that you grew up loving Julian and Alistair, and a part of you will probably always love them, but I... I just have no doubt that those two men are capable of great evil. But before, I, I would have defended them to the bitter end. The longer I'm inside of that mansion, the more I'm beginning to see what the cranes are really like. I mean, once I was on the phone with Julian and Alistair, and they practically spit blood at the thought of Sheridan and Luis being together. And then their amazing turnaround. I mean, how stupid do they think people are? Look, Pilar, if it makes you feel any better, I think true love will win out in the end. You, you, you taught me that. The only thing that can split a couple in love is if one of them keeps a secret from the other. I cannot believe that Luis and Sheridan have been anything but honest with each other. Exactly. They are just like us. We, have, we are always totally honest with each other about everything. I know you were hired to break us up, okay? And I know who hired you. Just want to hear you say their names out loud. Come on, fess up. Alistair and Julian Crane. We're doomed. Maybe we should make a run for it while Sheridan and Louise Krill, Didi and... What's his name? Oh, it's too risky to slink out now. Our, our best hope is to wait for any diversion that comes along. Hopefully things will heat up. If our player stonewalls, Louise. Come on, out with it. Admit who hired you. You can think the cranes were behind this setup. But if you think I'm going to confirm it, think again. The cranes are the most powerful family in the whole world. Your threat to kill me is nothing compared to what the cranes would do if I fingered them. No fool or imposter. He knows the power of La Familia Crane. Yeah, well, I wish you had power enough to get us out of this closet before they find us. Damn it, just admit it. Just admit who hired you. Forget it, Luis. We proved that it wasn't you who betrayed me. Not that we had to. I knew it wasn't in you to do that to me. Sheridan, I just want to prove to you that your father and Julian are behind this. That they're never going to change. They're never going to change who they are. There's a reason... I protect you from your own damn family. I didn't mean to hurt anyone. I just needed the money. Shut up! Uh, hey! You, you listen uh, to me. Hey! You listen to me. A man never hits a woman. You got that? You, huh? Yeah, going off on me is not going to shut me up. What we did to these two people, it was horrible. They really love each other. And they deserve to be together and happy forever. If you read on who was behind this, I'll make you wish you'd never been born. Like your life isn't miserable enough already. You're right. If they could do this to them, then God only knows what they'll do to me. Well, you just go ahead, all right? Sheridan and I will protect you. You just, you just tell us what we already know. That this whole scheme is an attempt by Julian and Alistair to break up me and Sheridan, yeah? That slut for hire fingers us with doom. You were hired to do a job. Now tell me who hired you. Come on. Please. You do the right thing. I don't mean my mother any disrespect but the reason she lived in a loveless marriage with Julian was because she kept the fact that Sam Bennett was my father a secret you know, maybe if she would have been honest 
She and the man she loved could have had a life together, and they could have raised me, their son, together. So many people would have been spared of so much pain if she would have just owned up to the truth. See, and that's the thing about secrets. They always come out in the end. It's just like my mother's secret. It was leaked to the tabloid. Not only did it destroy my life, but my mother, Julian, Sam, Grace, they all suffered too. Grace, she even lost her baby when the truth came out. That's why I hate secrets so much. And I hate anyone who keeps them. So what are you saying, Ivy? That you aren't going to leave here? That I should let you stay here in my bed all night, and if I don't, that you'll cause a scene in the station and hurt Grace? No, Sam, that's not what I'm saying. No, no, I'll leave. But before I go, I just want one little thing. And if you give it to me, I will slip out quietly. And Grace will never know that I was here. She'll never know that her husband was in bed with his first love on the same night he swore she meant nothing to him. What is it you want, Ivy? I will leave the police station without incident. If you just give me one good night kiss, just a simple little no good way. night kiss. No way. I'm not letting you blackmail me into kissing you. Okay, fine. Have it your way. I wonder how long it'll take Grace to hear that uh, I left the police station in the middle of the night wearing only a sheet. Does this mean you changed your mind about the kiss, Sam? I'm sorry. I have a family. My mom and my sister. And if I say who hired us and, and they come after them to get to me, I, I can't live with myself. I can't take a chance. Damn it. Louise, it's okay. We both know my father and brother are behind this. Yeah, but I just wanted to prove it. If Julian was here, I'd rip the truth out of him. Not even he's stupid enough to be here while this little scam plays out. You people got nothing on us and you know it. Yeah, we tried to break you up this time. But what you said about me being you on the wharf before, it never happened. What? You heard me. I never wore that mask on any wharf. You're still trying to break us up. Well, Julian and Alice, so they must be paying you a fortune. Yeah. I just don't like being blamed for something I had no part in, that's all. All right, that's it. You're under arrest. <laughs> on what charges? Impersonating a cop? <laughs> no, can't do without a uniform. Well, let's see. How about stealing my identity? <laughs> Mr. Yeah, that's right. You know I got plenty of charges to arrest you on. And I will. If you don't start answering my question. Now! No way will we ever say who bankrolled us. As for those trumped up charges you threatened me with? Dream on, man. I'm out of here. Go, you more. I'm sorry, I don't mean to bring you down. I just was trying to make a point that... Nothing can ruin true love except the people involved in the relationship. You know, like Sheridan and Louise, no one will break them apart. Only something one of them did can do that. I agree. Well, I think I'm going to get something to drink. Uh, my pontificating has made me thirsty. I'll get it for you. No, Pilar, please. Look, I'm not a crane anymore. You don't have to wait on me. Now, in fact, since I'm going to be your future son-in-law, it is my turn to wait on you. Can I get you anything? No, nothing. Thank you. Okay. Teresa? I'm fine. Thanks. If Ethan's speech about honesty didn't convince you to tell him the truth, I'm afraid nothing will. Mama, it is because of Ethan's speech that I cannot tell him that I knew he was a Bennett and kept it from him. 
you heard what he said about hating secrets and the people who keep them. Now, if I tell Ethan the truth now, he'll be so angry that he might break our engagement. But don't you think he will break your engagement if someone tells him that you knew what you knew and when you knew it? Whitney and Chad, they would never do that to me. Of course not. But what if someone overhears them discussing it and tells Ethan? I mean, I never thought of that. Teresita, por favor, you cannot keep secrets from the man you love. Mama, I do not like doing this. Then be honest, Teresa, or you will lose him for sure. And maybe not tonight, or tomorrow, or even a year from now. But eventually, Ethan will find out that you knew he was Sam Bennett's son and kept it from him. And he will hate you, Teresita, just as you fear. And you will lose him, Mija, never to see him again. All right, Ivy. You can have your good night kiss. Pucker up. I'm only doing this to protect Grace. Sam will say when he sees me. You're with red that black belt karate. Please don't hurt me, okay? I can't take any more. It's more like it. Uh, just to make sure that you don't go anywhere. I'm walking out of here now, man. You try and stop me, I'll kill you. Please, Luis, take a stab at stopping him. Do us all a favor. Teresa, tell him. Tell him everything now before it's too late. I can't, Mama. It's already too late. What do you mean? I already lied to Ethan about his paternity. Oh, my God. Mama, I couldn't help it. I mean, Gwen had me cornered. Gwen, how is she able to force you to lie? It happened earlier tonight at the party, and the reporter from the tabloid that broke the story about Ethan being a Bennett was there, and he said that he was close to finding out who sent the email that started everything. What does this have to do with Gwen? Gwen accused me of being the reporter's accomplice, of sending the email that that ruined Ethan's life. Of course I denied it. But Gwen and Ethan so worked up that he actually asked me if I had done it. But you couldn't have, even if you wanted to. You destroyed that information from your laptop. I saw you do it. I know, Mama. And I told Ethan that I did not send that email, that I would never do anything to hurt him. Gwen asked me point blank if I knew that Ethan was a Bennett before the truth came out. Mama, I had to lie. I had to say no to Ethan. I don't like what I'm hearing. Gwen cornering you like that. It's as if she forced you to lie in front of Ethan. Mama, Gwen has been on my case for a while now. She's been hinting that she knows something, but she never would say what. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe Gwen realized that you stumbled onto the truth. She knows that I was keeping Ethan's pretended information in the closet here for Ivy. And maybe she voiced her suspicions to her mother. I mean, lately Rebecca has made some remarks that I did not quite understand. But, Teresa, no matter what the case, you have to tell Ethan the truth. This lie cannot go on any longer. You must tell Ethan the truth. You must tell him, Teresa. Who are you? You sound upset. <laughs> Ethan, I, I didn't hear you come in. What's going on? 
What is it your mother wants you to tell me? Knife down. Just put it down nice and easy. No way, man. Let me leave now and no one gets hurt. You try and stop me and I swear I'll kill you. Oh, okay. Whatever, whatever you say. This isn't so brave. A thug pulls a small piece of cutlery on him and he backs down as if he's being threatened by a machete-wielding maniac. Oh. I could be wrong, but I think Luis has a plan. Please take me with you. We make a great team. Sorry, baby. It's every man for himself from here on in. No, please. Get off me. No. I told you we said a plan. Well, I hope you have a plan to get us out of this mess because I certainly don't. He's ready to pummel our, our imposter into telling the truth. Our role in this charade could be exposed to any moment. Oh. Oh. Julian! Rebecca! Julian. I knew you were in on this. Now I have all the proof that I'll need. I'm gonna have your head on a stick. <laughs> <laughs> 